Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. In August 1955, the Natchez branch of the NAACP petitioned the local school board to desegregate Natchez schools in accordance with the Brown versus the Board of Education decision issued by the United States Supreme Court the previous year. Audley Maurice Mackle, the Natchez NAACP branch secretary, and David Bacon, the president, presented the Natchez School Board with a segregation petition containing the signatures of 86 residents. White residents responded to the NAACP's segregation efforts by forming the Adams County Citizen Council. Many people joined the council at an August 4th rally held at the city auditorium. School Superintendent D. Gilmer McLaurin worked with the council in forwarded the names of the petitioners to the Mississippi State Sovereignty Commission. Two local papers also published the names of the signers, opening them up to backlash from the right community, particularly their employers. Shortly after, close to three-fifths of the petitioners decided to withdraw their signatures, including Bacon, who resigned as NAACP Chapter President. The segregation of the city schools would not come until 1967. I am Melanie Tennessee, a freshman at NECA, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.